as a trust, we already use um, livestock to the tune of about 400 head of various animals from horses to um, sheep to ponies. So we need those livestock in order to manage the, uh, the habitats that we, that, we, that we think are important to, to look after. I saw the link uh, of being able to continue to um, manage for biodiversity, for wildlife, but also managing the landscape and uh, creating that link between what the landscape looks like, what the wildlife looks like and the creation of, of, of food from that process. When I started um, we sourced some of the Herdwick sheep to start the breeding flock of sheep and um, have put them in lamb as well as some of the existing stock that the Trust already owned which was the Hebrideans and um, we have sort of hoping to lamb now to breed all replacements to use for um, restoration work and continuing grazing on various sites around Kent. Without the livestock, um, grassland tends to become rank. Eventually it will, um, it will scrub over with woody species. So keeping livestock on the site is, is important. Some people just um, are local to the reserve have, have volunteered doing various tasks here um, for a long time and uh, are willing to get stuck in and help really. So we offer as much training to them as we can to, to get them confident to do it. What the project is hoping to do is get um, perhaps another audience of volunteers who may be more interested in livestock management and food production to get interested in that side of the operation and at the same time understand how the management of wildlife and biodiversity is, is also important in, in the management of land and the landscape. The eventual aim is to sell uh, special reserve lamb through a local butcher it'll be sold initially to members. In our trial that we've had so far, we, we actually used some of our older ewes uh, and sold them as mutton to um, some of our volunteers and staff. And the fact that it was uh, mutton produced from a sheep that had been grazing in nature reserve for six or seven years was another sort of added, added uh, factor to, to the reason people thought it was good. All the response was really good and everyone said how much they enjoyed it and would definitely sort of come back for more and I think that's where the slip um, has come that people are so used to eating such mass produced food they forget the sort of taste benefits and everything else that there is to sort of the more traditional breeds and the more traditionally farmed animals. The, the local food funding has been enormously important um, it's been able to uh, it's enabled us to employ Andrew our livestock manager who comes to us with a wealth of experience of livestock management to have um, a uh, a post that's funded uh, by local food to help with uh, the whole of the organisation's livestock management has been enormously important and it's already in a matter of months or so been, um, been showing a, a, an improvement. Mm -hmm.